Hello and welcome to our daily expert talk together with Top for Running. We are going to talk about tonight's events and what happened yesterday. And my expert arrived here today together with Nike coach Aaron, Alex Felitti, and Robert Diaz. Yes, we talked yesterday about several events. I think we have to reconnect about the results, but because it's, it happened something unexpected. How do you experience last, uh, last event? It was, last night was fantastic. I mean, what an upset on the 1500. I think this is one of them, uh, that one of the events you wanted to discuss. What an upset. Um, maybe we can go a bit more in details. Um, but yeah, no one, no one saw it coming. Uh, I think even Josh Kerr was surprised to a certain extent. And uh, yeah, I would say that the, the, the biggest winner from last night is maybe uh, the bronze medalist, uh, Nordus from Norway. Huge success this year for him. Bronze medal is a, is a huge achievement. And yeah, um, what a night, what a night. You sat next to me uh, yesterday at the 1,500 meters. What do you think about the race, about Ingebrigtsen, about his condition? Uh, I'll I would say it was a very unexpected, but also very exciting. I think this was a great opportunity for the 1500 to be given a huge showcase and to be introduced to new fans to show you how exciting and how tactical the race could be, especially from the second lap to the final lap. It was just go, go, go all the time. And just to have a surprise like this at that moment is something that gave everyone in the stadium a huge electric shock. So. I'm looking forward to seeing more of it and seeing where the middle distance running can go from here. And at our uh, expert talk yesterday, uh, Richard Kilty said that jo Joschke would, would make it. You said Inge Brixen is on his top level. What do you think about his condition? Is, was he maybe too arrogant, too, too sure that he's going to win? Yeah, I mean, yeah, first of all, yeah, uh, th thumbs up to, to Richard that yesterday he, you know, had the pick from uh, Josh Kerr. And, and he, he, was, he was right. Yeah, I think maybe Jacko was too arrogant on the semi-final when at 100 meters to go, he was waving his hand, you know, super easy. And then yesterday, I think he was caught by surprise on the, on the last band when, when, when Josh Kerr was trying to overtake him from the outside. I mean, I, when I saw the move, I was like, where is he going from the outside? That's, that's a mistake. But then, you know, he was, he was, he was the best yesterday night. So, so yeah, Jacko was, yeah, had to, you know, put the, the head down and, and go away with the silver. Yeah, as we said yesterday, everything can happen here in, in Budapest. And something special happened uh, as well at the pole vault yesterday. Katie Moon and Nina Kennedy, it was a great, great competition. Like very, very close, so close that they had to share the gold medal. It's like, yeah, super crazy. Did you like, when you were in their position, would you share it as well? What, what did you do? Like the, trying the five meters or just like, okay, I'm fine with it, let's share? I think for me it was a, a big surprise to see Nina jump 490. Um, and then all the pressure on, on uh, Katty's shoulders uh, was, you know, it was immense. She, she succeeded and I think she had, a, she had a shot at 495. So I think I would have, I would have asked to continue. Um, the competition. Uh, it may sound weird, and I had goosebumps seeing them sharing the gold medal, but I think in, in Kelly's shoes, I would have tried to go uh, just one extra shot and see what happens. Uh, for myself, I think I would have shared it because I would, I would rather go home with a gold, knowing that we've contested very hard and it's been great to have such a contestant there against myself, but then to maybe go to the jump off and lose it to a silver, I think that would be a lot harder to take for me personally. I think it's also like about being a little like role model and it's like I really enjoyed their competition because whenever the other one was was jumping they were like cheering for each other and like, not like looking away and I need to win this was like a whole collaboration kind of in my experience what do you think Yeah I think you know they they showed the respect to each other you know like like the first of all sharing the gold you know they it was a, it was a long competition more than 3 hours since since they started the final so, you know, after trying several times, you know, PV, uh, even I think Nina uh, beat the, the Australian record. So, uh, yeah, maybe you can have a fourth chance. And then if, if, you, if you fail, then the, 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 the bar goes, goes down. So I don't know if it makes any sense to try after you jump 490 to, to try something lower to see who is the winner. So I think, yeah, super respect between both of them. Both are world champions, so at the eyes of everyone. So there's nothing to lose. 
and, and both have the, the goal. So I think that's a great outcome. And we've seen it with Tamberi and Barshim in, in Tokyo. And now that's something maybe is going to be repeating on the future. So, so yeah, let's, let's see. But I think it was a, a phenomenal competition last night. And yesterday we talked about like the possible two Norwegian medals. Now it's only one. You're as a former 400 meter hurdle specialist. How do you enjoy the race? You, you said it's kind of like um, was really slow compared to the others. Yeah, I mean, now, now we call it slow when, when a guy running 46, right? Which is it's still crazy, insane. But but yeah, of course, we, we, we saw Karsten running like three, like earlier this season in 46 already, 46.5 a couple of times. So we were expecting to be him on 46 low or even uh, running under 46. It was a different race because normally he, he just goes quick as the first and he was like behind McMaster, even behind Ray Benjamin until the six, seven hurdle. And then, yeah, Dos Santos uh, hit the eighth hurdle, was out of the contention. And then the last hundred for Ray Benjamin was just like going backwards. So, so let's say easy win for Warholm, slow time, but in general was a slow time for everyone. And uh, now, like tonight, we're gonna double the distance. When we talk about the 800, we talked about it before. We were like, hmm, who is the favorite? It's not like a, we didn't like choose a favorite, favorite person or a favorite athlete tonight. What's, what will happen? Uh, I'm just gonna say one name. I think uh, Benjamin Robert from France uh, is gonna make it to the final. That's my, uh, my prediction. Uh, it's not super bold, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for my fellow countryman and say Patterson's going to make it in that final. So let's see. Yeah, it's difficult to predict. I think it's one of the most open competitions, 800. And may, sometimes it's more difficult to get into the final and get a medal. But of course, I'll, I'll go for the European champ, Adrian Ben from Spain. So Spain, France, and Great Britain. So really unexpected here. There's no German in the race, so I, I can't bet on anyone. Um, but yeah, tonight is the 400 meters women final. And I think someone is about to have a, a big, big distance. It's like Femke Ball. Um, but let's see what will happen. A lot of unexpected things happen. Um, do you have like a certain time in mind she will, she will run tonight? I actually don't. Um, talking about yesterday's race uh, with Karsten, you never know what can happen. She's, of course, uh, the fastest in the field by, by a mile. Uh, so she can run a fast time, but she needs to make it to the finish line to do so. So, yeah, let's see. Everything can happen. This is very true. And we've seen from the first day with the relays how she felt at the line. So I think this has given her even more fire to want to definitely win but maybe the way that she's gonna run in the final is gonna be something we've not seen in the hurdles in this competition yet so I'm really looking forward to seeing how hard she's gonna be going and pushing through this and of course by the way I'm talking I feel that she's still the favorite who's gonna win. And from a coach perspective do you think that she will run more safe or she's just like hungry for more that like this won't happen again like in the first round? I think she needs to go hard. Again, from the first day, if she takes it safe, then maybe that will play it in her mind where if she goes and attacks it and she's confident in her skills and her fitness, she can definitely go and win by a fast time in the country mile. So let's see how it all plays out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I tend to be really positive. So I think, and I hope she's going to break the 51 seconds barrier. So, so. Let's hope for that and we can see at least a European record tonight. And the last uh, distance or final we are talking about uh, is the 400 meters men. It's also taking place, also really tough with the heat and everything. Do you have a like favorite athlete from, from France? I actually don't. Uh, there's no uh, French men competing, so I think it won't be a, a French winner. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting one. I think back to maybe to uh, Femke. Uh, I have a question for for Roberto, if you if you don't mind. Uh, but do you do you see her um, breaking 51 by uh, with a big margin, or what's the time you have in mind? You're the specialist, and I'm curious what with the, the mark you have in mind. Yeah, I mean, I think if she breaks the 51 per year, it's gonna be. 50.9 really high so so you know just to be under that uh, but I don't I don't think she's gonna challenge the 
McLaughlin's record. N but not not this year at least. But but she did like like run under the 60? No, she's run this year 5146 oh. on the hurdles. The world record is 5068, so still you know a decent time to 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 still beat. But, but I think she can she can be closer to tonight, yeah. When we're not talking about Femke, who's going to be potentially close? Like like the silver and gold, uh, silver and bronze. <laughs> Everyone is just like looking at her. This is so bad. We're not prepared. We're not the experts here. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, I have no clue, and I don't want to throw a name that uh, will not make it there. Um, yeah, let's see. Sydney McLaughlin's not here. She she would have been the one. Um, so yeah, uh, I cannot tell you. Yeah, we're gonna see it tonight. And yes, last but not least, the 400 meters men. Um, who will make that race? We will, will, who will win the medal? Um, I put my money on Matthew Hudson Smith, another Brit. He broke the European record in the semi finals and looked very easy coming um, past the line. So I think he's got it in him. And again, compared to other years, there's no huge front runner as we saw the Olympic champion before didn't run his best um, race beforehand. So yeah, I put my money on the Brits. I hope everyone else does as well. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I have to. I have to say it's uh, no. Uh, I have to say it's it's tough to run three rows. I mean, three races in a row at uh, the the highest level. Uh, we've seen the, the the Norwegian kid, you know, also doing PP on the heats and then paying uh, a little bit on the semi final. So I think Matthew Hudson Smith today is going to struggle at least at the at the at the. A home straight, so I hope he's going to be on the on the bronze uh, medal. But I'll be cheering for Banyeke and also Kirani James. So I think the, the, one of the two most iconic 400 meters runners on the last years or last 10 years. So let's hope that they're going to be on at their best tonight and and see at least you know see some 43 something, which uh, you know nowadays is difficult to to see. It's already like super. Exciting to, to see the 400 meters because everything can happen. Like yesterday was the 400 meter women's final, and some of them like really like going super fast in the beginning. We're like, okay, what's happening? And then the last 100 meters, every time it's like that can decide everything. So we're gonna see what happened tonight. Thank you so much for your opinion and your bets. And yeah, that's it. <laughs>